Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn the use of utility types in TypeScript. It is very very useful, sometime we require these utility types for making our programming. So how we can use these? that we have to learn here in this video for example we have the interface and i have the interface name value and here i say i have num1 of number type and num2 of number type like this both are required but when i am creating a object so I say my info and here I use this value and here I initialize the value and I say num1 equal to 10 num2 equal to 20 like that we save this and I just display console dot log and I say my info so we write this code now I need to run this code I need to compile this TCS TSC file so I say TSC utility type dot TS and in watch mode then I need to open another command prompt and here I need to run this and you see we have output now suppose I don't want to use num2 here and you will see that after that we having an error. We having an error here because we are not using num2 and here we have a num2 as a required parameter, required value. So if I don't want to use it, I can do like this. It's, it will become optional and now I can run it but one more way we can use this and we can make it optional here I use the partial like this partial and I save it you see that now it will run without any problem because we make this whole value as a partial any value we can use now we can later initialize also info dot num2 equal to this way so later i can initialize and then i can use it you see so by using this utility type partial we can make all these fields or these variable as a optional and whenever we require we can use all these so this is for partial now I make it comment so this one also now again I have an interface now we see suppose I have this field I say num3 as a optional parameter of number type or you may have any type whatever you want now I create again object I say my info and here I use value and I just initialize the value I say num1 is 30 then num2 is 40 like that num2 is 40 like that because it's optional so it will it would not generate any error if we see the output my info so you will see that result we have the output without any problem but if i say here required if i say it required that means now this 
num3 is not optional it must be used it is required now so we say num3 50 save this and again if you will run we have the output so by using required utility type we make all the field required if i have this also optional then it will become the required so all the field will become required by partially we can make all the field as your optional now we see the use of omit so if we want to first of all uh, uh, i make it comment all save this suppose here i create an object i say const full name and here i specify that record is having first key as a string and second may be as a string we can put here then we slice a value we say that f name dr weapon then i say l name i say classes you see that this string this string is become key here f name and this string will become the value dr weapon similarly i use this and by using a console dot log we can display this and save this and i try to run it you will see uh, we save this and i think we have some error so we did this now i see any error no error is not there so i try to execute it once again you see we have the output so we have the value here so in place of record i can also use this object type if we have so i remove this and here i say key of string type and then i have of string type like that i save this and try to execute it you will have the same name same output you will have the same output so it look little bit hard and tough so in place of this you can use record and in record first one is the key second is the value and just simply we can use it and we have the same output by using record also now we see the use of omit comment this so to understand the omit first of all we have to create interface and i say values and i say the value we have num1 of number then we have num2 we have num2 of number then we have num3 of number and suppose i want to take only one field num1 from this and i want to omit all num2 and num3 so what i can do i just create a const value i say my info then i take value here equal to and i take only num1 then i put the value but it's showing error console dot log and i want to display my info but it's showing error because all three are required so here i can use omit and here i just specify that i don't want to use num2 or num3 and i put it here like that like this so you see that error is gone so we have a omit then we have the interface then the parameter which we don't want to use the variable which don't want to include so we say omit so we leave this if i want to use num3 so it is showing error 
so what I do I should just take num1 and num2 I have to leave it 3 so I run it and we will have the output num3 so with the help of omit we can do like that now we uh, should uh, check pick so for understand this I make all the comments now as we have he omit here just the opposite of this we have a pick so we have this value and here in omit I pass the value which I want to leave but if I say here pick so here suppose I am giving one and num1 and num2 so I have to use num1 and num2 so here I have to use num1 then num2 like this because here I say I want to pick the num1 and num2 from this interface if I say only num1 then it will also generate error so whatever the value we are giving here that we have to use so pick is just opposite of omit omit if we pass here 1 and 2 then we have to use 3 if I am passing here num1 num num2 in a pick then we have to use both so we can see the output also now we have exclude return type and parameter so I just make it comment once again now I say type value equal to I say string then number then boolean and here I create a constant and I say my value I specify value here and suppose I pass here doctor weapon classes so by this way I just display and check the value I say my value so by this way I can take any value that is specify here string boolean and number if I pass here in place of a string if I pass number I can also have number if I pass boolean true or false then we also may have this but if I say exclude remember I say exclude and here I pass that I want to exclude the string from this so no error for boolean because boolean we can take but here if I take a string so it will generate error because here I say string, string should be exclude so if I say here number then, then I, I may have the string but I won't be able to take the number if I say number here it will say error so exclude means you have to exclude the value which we are giving here so like that way we can use exclude also so I make it comment here now now second last is a return type so suppose uh, I have a function and I say add and here I say num1 number num2 number and I have a return type here number so I return num1 plus num2 and here I need to use export to remove this error so we have this and uh, I just console dot log add and I pass some value and you will see if I run it I will have the addition of two number without any problem so you see that we have a function here and this function return the number type so how we can use it just see this const I say my value 
I say return type then I specify the type of add here like this and the value which I want to give suppose I say num1 to 10 like this we have the value that but we never read so in place of number I specify my value like this I save this and try to run it you see we have num1 equal to 10 now one more way we can do this suppose I say type and I say add I just make it comment equal to and I say arrow function and I say number as a return value so now I just remove this here I save this and I run it you see I have a same value after that also now we have this function and I want to take the return type of the parameter suppose here I pass a parameter p in a number I say num1 as a number then num2 as a number like that so here I need to pass parameter and I have to specify the index the value which I want to take I want to take the value of a number so again we have this number type save this and I run it you see I have the same value but this time this data type we have if this data type suppose number and I say this is a string and here I specify the one save this you see that we have the error because it have a string type so here I need to specify the string save this and try to run it you see we have now a string type so this is the way to use these uh, utility type in type scripts like that you can also use this whenever you require in your coding in this video we understand all these utility type in type scripts if you really understand and you learn these all types of utility type please do subscribe thank you for watching this video